Hello everyone, I'm Vikram P. Maduri here. Welcome to JH Soft Tech. And this is the first session on SAP BW powered by HANA FAQs. This was a request uh, in, in the comments for the previous video. So I'm making a video on the FAQs for BW on HANA. What is SAP BW on HANA? SAP BW on HANA is nothing but SAP existing NetWeaver BW data warehouse running on SAP HANA platform. So SAP now supports SAP HANA as the underlying database for the NetWeaver BW database uh, data warehouse. And because SAP HANA is much faster than regular uh, relational databases in, uh, just like uh, uh, Oracle or MS SQL uh, servers, the data warehouse performs much faster. The purpose of SAP BW and HANA is to combine the power of both BW as well as HANA. So it's basically in HANA database. So if you see this figure, it will be more clear for you. So till SAP BW 7.3, it was a NetWeaver platform. So it was uh, basically having any, uh, it was basically a database independent. So it, it would have run on any of the databases like Oracle or MS SQL, but right now after after BW 7.5 from BW 7.5 onwards uh, HANA uh, SAP has made it mandatory that all the data warehousing solutions that it provides will run on SAP HANA database platform so This is BW on HANA What are the benefits of SAP BW on HANA? So this is very important for us to understand this uh, from the technical point of view and from the interview point of view and uh, from the subject point of view as well. So customer value of SAP BW on HANA is excellent query performance for improved decision making, performance boost for data load processes for decreased data latency, accelerated in-memory planning capabilities for faster planning scenarios, flexible combined uh, extended data videos with HANA, native data for real-time insights and decision-making. Data persistency layers are cut off and reduced administration efforts. Simplified data modeling and remodeling, faster decision-making, having the right information when you need it in today's uh, business world, fast access and manipulation is required on top of uh, massive data stores. So this is beyond the capabilities of traditional disk-based systems. So lower total cost of ownership. When you take into account the cost of hardware, software licenses, maintenance, performance tuning and project development, SAP BW is always cheaper in terms of uh, TCO uh, when running on HANA. So simplified configuration and operational management non-disruptive innovation and uh, advanced uh, administrative tools so the current business processes inside bw can stay as they are and will mesh perfectly with the hana platform so system operation stays as it is and process chains do not need to be remodeled and what is the native hana modeling in sap bw on hana so hana modeling is done on the top of tables available in catalog tab under the schemas uh, in HANA Studio and all views are saved under the content table under package. So you can create a new package under the content tab in HANA Studio using right click and um, content and new. So all modeling views created inside one package comes under the same package in SAP HANA Studio and is categorized according to the view type. So what are the transaction codes used in SAP BW and HANA? Following are the key transaction codes used in the SAP BW and HANA RSA1 to open BW Workbench. These are similar to what we have, what we were using in BI 7.0 or BW 7.3. Uh, Some are similar. So RSA1 to open a BW Workbench, RSMIGR HANADB to convert in memory optimized BW. This is uh, specific to BW 7.5. SM59 was the old one to configure RFC configuration for SLT. LTR to configure trusted RFC, RSPCM to monitor the periodic process chains, RSPC to create a process chain, RSLIMO BW Lean Modeler, Lean Modeler Test UI. What is migration to SAP BW and HANA? The migration to SAP BW and HANA is quite simple. 
and requires no additional modeling or adaption of existing information sheets assets. So BW is the first SAP application to be re-architected and rewritten to take full advantage of enhanced capabilities of SAP HANA. So processing that would traditionally be done by the at the application level at the ABAP layer level uh, pushed it down into the database where it can be optimally executed with the various calculations and aggregation engines. So what we what we need to do after migration to SAP HANA remove SAP BW aggregates there's no need of uh, going with the uh, aggregates and uh, they are they're just the uh, overheads and in, in SAP HANA and this is not uh, done automatically for you so you have to do it manually uh, removing of aggregations is something which we have to do it manually so convert your SAP BW cubes and DSOs, DSOs to SAP HANA cubes and DSOs a simple process that improves performance and reduces space as well and do we need to rewrite the code and stuff after SAP BW migration to HANA? Absolutely not. So all our all your models will run just like they did before. There are definitely instances where you may choose to optimize your models to run better on SAP HANA, but this is not a requirement. And what are the migration tools in SAP BW on HANA? Software provisioning manager. So we have software provisioning manager allows you to perform various provision tasks and covers a broad range of platforms with different productions. So software provisioning manager can be used to set up a standalone engine for migration of systems or to copy a NetWeaver system. So SAP BW migration cockpit for SAP HANA. This tool is used to get any and easy asset to the uh, most used and uh, useful tools for migrating your SAP BW systems to a uh, optimizing uh, uh, to optimize it for SAP HANA. The SAP BW migration cockpit for SAP HANA combines several tools to make the migration of an existing SAP BW development to the SAP HANA platform smooth and easy to perform. So what is InfoCube in SAP BW on HANA? It's it's the basic thing that we already had in the previous version. So okay, so SAP uh, the a basic InfoCube is a type of InfoCube that physically stores data. Uh, it's in any, any info provider. Basically, any info provider is something which will store the data. So, uh, InfoCube is one type of uh, info provider. So, it is filled with data using BW staging. Afterwards, it can be used as an info provider in PEX reporting. InfoCubes are central objects on which reports and analysis are based in SAP BW. They are stored in master data tables. What is info provider in SAP BW and HANA? Info providers are BW objects that data the data is loaded into or which displays views of data. So you analyze this data in BEX queries. So there are info providers, the info provider types in which the data is stored physically and info provider types that are only views on, data, on the data. So in BEX query designers, they are seen as uniform object, uh, objects, however. So what is SAP HANA modeler option? Uh, SAP HANA model is used to create information views uh, on the top of the schemas or the tables that have been created in SAP HANA database. So these views are consumed by Java HTML based applications or even for SAP applications such as SAP Lumira, Office Analysis or third party tools, softwares like MS Excel for reporting purposes to meet business logic and to perform analysis and extract information. So from the 12th question, uh, I'm going to discuss this in the in the next session. So keep watching and if you like our videos, do click on the like and share it with your friends to help them as well. And do subscribe to our channel and do not forget to click on the like and the bell button so that you will get all the notifications of our channel whenever we upload a video. So uh, our channel would be www dot youtube.com slash jadesoftech and if at all if you are looking out for sap trainings you can contact us at info at the have a great day thank you